Today I'm going to show you easy ways to heal receding gums naturally. Gum recession is a medical term describing when the margin of the gum tissue surrounding the tooth pulls back, exposing more of the tooth or its root. Receding gums can produce noticeable gaps, making it easy for disease causing bacteria to build up. If left untreated, the supporting tissue and bone structures of the teeth can be severely damaged and may ultimately result in tooth loss. Receding gums is a common dental problem because of its subtle onset. In fact, most people don't even know they have gum disease because it occurs so gradually. Generally, the first sign of gum recession is usually tooth sensitivity. Alternatively, one may notice a tooth appears longer than the surrounding teeth. A little bump or notch may be felt under the gum line as well. So the first sign of receding gums may be teeth feeling more sensitive than before and teeth looking longer. A dentist will look for the signs of receding gums and may make recommendations for treatment or extra oral health hygiene measures to help stop the recession. The English NHS system says most adults have some degree of gum disease and this can lead to receding gums over time. Many people have receding gums and have no concerns about them early on. For some, though the concern may be about appearance, the fear of tooth loss or sensitivity due to exposed tooth roots. People who are self-conscious about this will often check how much of their gums are on show. For some people the gums show when talking and smiling, whilst other people have a different lip line that does not expose the gums to view. If you would like to know what I consider the best product to treat gum recession and best of all it's not that expensive and it's natural then watch the end of this video and I'll show you. So why do gums recede? Genetics account for many of the health conditions to which human beings are suspect to and dental health is no different. Studies show that more than 30% of the population is at risk of gum disease strictly because of their genetic makeup. Brushing your teeth too hard may also cause the enamel of your teeth to wear away, leading to receding gums. Irregular brushing, flossing and rinsing invite bacteria to reside in your mouth and this can cause gum recession. Fluctuations in female hormone levels throughout a woman's lifetime including menopause, pregnancy and puberty may cause the gums to become more sensitive which may lead to gum recession. Bacterial gum infections destroy gum tissue and the bone that surrounds the tissue. Gum disease or periodontal disease is the leading cause of gum recession. Gums may also shrink naturally over time despite good oral hygiene measures. The phrase long in the tooth to describe being older came from gum recession although originally this was about horses. There are a few other things that may cause gum recession as well and that's having bristles that are too firm that can cause the gums to degrade. Tooth grinding, this is clenching the teeth often due to stress that can put extra pressure on the gums. Teeth not aligning properly, this can cause too much pressure on the gums leading to recession. Smoking in tobacco products, this habit causes increased amount of tooth plaque which can cause recession. Having diabetes that is not well managed also affects gum health. And finally lip or tongue piercings can irritate and wear away gum tissue. Receding gums can really sneak up on you if you're not careful. Typically gum recession is a very slow process that may not be noticeable at first until you begin to see the roots of the teeth. Your dentist measures gum recession in millimetres and even 2 millimetres of attachment loss is significant. Here are some typical signs that you may be suffering from receding gums. When you have receding gums, a portion of the root is exposed to the outside elements. They were not meant to be exposed and it will often respond with hypersensitivity. The portion of the tooth anatomy that is under the enamel is called dentin. Dentin appears yellow next to the white tooth enamel and is exposed when the gums recede. When you see this yellow area next to a defined white crane, you will know that the recession has occurred. If your gum recession is related to gum disease or periodontis, there will be some inflammation and swelling associated with the area of the gum recession. 
When gums recede, the root of the tooth is exposed between the dental crane and the gum lines. This results in the appearance of a long tooth. Finally, you may be suffering from food packing. As the gums recede and causes spaces between the teeth to be exposed, food easily becomes packed and lodged in these areas. Gums can recover from mild gum recession with the help of a thorough professional dental cleaning session. This may involve ultrasonic and manual tooth scaling or root planning to remove plaque and tartar and to stop it building up again. If the gums are infected, antibiotics may be recommended. If your gum recession has gone too far for this conservative treatment to work, gum surgery may be needed. This may need a referral to a specialist periodontist dental surgeon. To finish this video, I'm going to show you 10 rather easy and natural ways to treat gum recession. And here they are. Number one, sesame seed oil rinse, also known as oil pulling. Rinsing with sesame seed oil produces some excellent benefits. Sesame oil possesses potent anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. Swish one tablespoon of sesame oil for about 15 minutes or until the oil becomes thinner. Spit out the liquid and rinse your mouth with fresh water. Repeat daily for approximately one month. Number two, sea salt rinse. Simply rinsing your mouth with warm water and salt mix is one of the easiest methods for easing gum recession pain and inflammation. Just dissolve a small amount of sea salt into a cup of water, swish the mix in your mouth for about 15 seconds and spit it out. Repeat two to three times daily for best results. Number three, coconut oil. Coconut oil is useful as an effective treatment for gum disease. When mixed with baking soda, coconut oil helps to rid the mouth of bacteria causing acids. Simply mix two tablespoons of both coconut oil and baking soda. This mixture will serve as a toothpaste replacement once or twice per week until the problem subsides. Number four, the chamomile flower has some serious antiseptic properties and helps to reduce the inflammation that comes with gum disease and recession. Simply add two to three teaspoons of chamomile tea mix into a cup of hot water. Allow the mix to steep for about 10 minutes, strain and then cool. Repeat this process three times a day for as long as necessary. Number five, myrrh mix. Myrrh isn't talked about much as an oral treatment, which is a shame considering that it's highly recommended as a remedy for sore gums. Put 10 to 12 drops of myrrh tincture into a cup of warm water. You'll mix this into your mouth rinse for your normal brushing routine. Number six, similar to other ingredients on this list, tea tree oil has some awesome antibiotic and anti-inflammatory properties. A 2008 Australian study concludes the regular application of tea tree oil reduces gum bleeding and gingivitis. Add one to two drops of tea tree oil on your toothbrush or mix it in with your toothpaste. That's it. Continue to brush using this essential oil two times a day for a few weeks. Number seven, septilin is a medicine shown to strengthen immunity. This traditional medicine is a mix of compounds that in addition to supporting a healthy immune system, also reduces inflammation. To take septilin, you can buy it in a capsule form. And if you want more information, you can just click here and it will take you to a blog post about it. Number eight, you shouldn't forget about flossing. Flossing with an all natural material helps reduce bacteria and plaque. It isn't necessary to floss every day, but flossing a couple of times per week, as well as maintaining good oral hygiene, may be enough to ward off gum recession. Number nine, cranberry juice is highly concentrated with vitamin C and makes for an excellent antioxidant in treating oral problems. Specifically, cranberry juice is shown to be effective in fending off receding gums and oral infections. Studies demonstrate that low intake of vitamin C is linked to a higher risk of periodontal disease. Simply drinking four ounces of cranberry juice per day may help prevent bacteria from accumulating and hardening into the teeth. Other excellent sources of vitamin C includes oranges, grapefruit, lemons, strawberries, broccoli and red pepper. 
Finally, number 10, green tea. Known for its age-fighting composites, green tea was found by Japanese scientists to help promote healthy teeth and gums. One study found that drinking a cup of green tea every day improved the attachment of the gums to the teeth and reduced gum bleeding. In fact, the more cups of green tea consumed, the better the results. Green tea along with cranberry juice may just be the two best products we can drink to promote gum health. If you would like to read anything I've discussed today or want more natural ways to help receding gums, then just click here and it will take you to a blog post I've done about it. So the product I would recommend is Gum Recession Rescue Tooth Powder. It helps provide support for moderate to serious teeth, gums and mouth issues. It's great to eliminate gum problems and helps to reverse gum recession and gum inflammation. It can also soothe bleeding gums, tighten loose teeth and remove plaque buildup. It has certified organic ingredients and none of the products is genetically modified. It contains detoxifying clays, essential oils and herbs. Gum Recession Rescue is over 300 reviews with the vast majority very positive. Here are some of the reviews. You can always pause the video if you wish to read them. If you want to read more information on this powerful gum recession treatment, see more reviews or simply purchase it, it's not very expensive, then click here. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, please give it the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want more tips on gum disease, then watch this video now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.